In this video, I'm going to show you how to build these three custom structures. They all essentially use the same building technique, but they look really good in a lot of different themes. First, there's the Lion Knight's townhouse, which does use premium parts because it is from the Lion Knight's castle. But don't worry, because I included a free design in this tutorial as well, and we got the cabin here. And then this is another premium design because you need the Anarchy Acres bundle, but this farmhouse looks fantastic. First, I'll go through the Lion Knight townhouse, and then the cabin. And then we'll finish everything off with the barn. So feel free to watch all three or skip ahead to the one you need. For the Lion Knight townhouse, the first step is to go to building parts and then supports, and we're gonna go to the palatial pillar. You could also use the noble corner, but I like how the palatial pillar has this little indentation and then the little light brown stripe right here. But after we place the pillar, we're gonna go into building parts and then walls. We wanna go to windows and then we want these noble window ones. And we're just gonna build these three across. Also keep in mind with these, there is a front side and a back side. Technically, the front side is the side that has these tan pieces showing but obviously if you want the build to have a different aesthetic or a more white aesthetic you could flip these around then at the end we're just going to go back to the palatial corner from here we're going to go to building parts and roof pieces first we want the noble gable right and what we're going to do is just snap that to the top of the palatial pillar now we want the noble gable left and again we're going to snap that to the other palatial corner then with the noble gable left still out we're going to snap that to the top of this roof piece and place it just like this. Next, we're going to go to building parts and then walls and then to the noble door too. With the inside of the building on your left side, we're going to snap this door to this palatial pillar. Now you can really make this building as wide as you would like and use either the noble window one or twos. But for this video, we're going to use the noble window two. And we're going to go across with that by three. Then at the end, just do another palatial pillar. Now, just like we did over there, we're going to take the noble window one and go three across here. So there's one, two, and three. At the end, another palatial pillar. Then on the back, I usually like to do a back door that's on the opposite corner. So we're gonna start with another noble door O2 and then three noble window twos. So one, two, and three. Now we need to do what we did over there, but on this side and mirrored. This will make it easier to fill in the gap between these two spaces with the other roof pieces. So here, we're gonna snap it to the palatial corner. This one, we're gonna snap another one right on top of that. Then we're gonna switch to the noble gable left and put it right on this palatial corner and place it right there. Next, we're gonna go to building parts and then walls and scroll all the way down to the half walls. Under half walls, you should find the noble half wall window. And that is just gonna snap right into this space right here. And of course, same thing with the other side, but also watch out, there is a front and a back side to this window. Next, we're gonna do the flat roof pieces and we're gonna take the 10 by 16 by six and three of these will snap all the way across perfectly. Now do the same thing to the back side on both layers. So this layer goes up two and the front one goes up one. Now we're gonna go back to the noble half windows and we're gonna place the first one right here and you want it to line up with the side of the house here. Then go back down to half walls and take the half noble corner and we're gonna snap that right next to this window. Then on this side, we're gonna do the same thing so the window lines up like this. Then do another half noble corner. Then in the middle, we should be able to fit four of these perfectly. Then at the ends, go back to the half noble corner and snap one to the end here, as well as the other side. This kind of helps the pattern of this roof continue on the side profile. Then we're gonna go back to the roof pieces and we want this nightly ridge one. Now it won't let you snap it into the correct position, but usually I'll just snap it right here. And while I'm holding down the snap button, I'll nudge it forward two spaces and then it's perfect. Then again, do that to the other side, snap it, nudge forward two spaces, and it is good. Then we're gonna switch to the Knightly Ridge 5, and we should be able to fit three of these perfectly in between the two edges. Now you can really pick any floor piece you want, but I would start with 16 wide pieces, so that way you could snap this right here, nudge it over to the right two spaces, and then place it right there. This is exactly where you need the height of the floor, and then from here, you can just continue to snap over, and then you just have to fill in this space right here. So what I always do when I'm filling in houses or buildings with flooring, I always start with the largest piece possible and then I go down from there. So from here, obviously I can't fit another 16 by 16. I also can't fit a 12 by 12, but if I take an eight by eight, that fills this space perfectly. So what I'm gonna do is snap it right there, nudge it over four spaces and then place it right there. And then I'm easily able to snap more eight by eight tiles going all the way across and that'll fill in the gap perfectly. So next we're gonna add stairs and facing the front of the building on the left side, we're gonna take the noble stairs and we want it all the way up against this wall. And then if you have it here, we want it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spaces over to the right. 
and we're gonna place it right there. Then from the top of the stairs, we're gonna go back to the 16 by 16 floors, snap that to the stairway, and then nudge it to the right until it turns green and place it right there. Now we're gonna go back to the eight by eights. So the right of the piece we just placed, we're gonna snap this here and then nudge it all the way up against this wall until it turns red and then one space back so we know it's all the way up against the wall. Then continue to snap those eights all the way across. Then we're gonna go to the 16 by two noble thin floor fours. We're just gonna snap three of those across here at the end to fill in this gap. From here, we're gonna go back to the eight by eight, snap it to here, pull it one space back to line up at this floor and then place it. And then we can snap two over. And then we just need to fill in the last gap with an eight by two. And then you can leave this open or right here, you can snap another eight by eight and then press that all the way up against the wall. So that way there's a little more coverage to the first floor. So now you can walk in the front door and you actually have access to the second floor. Now, even within this one build, there's all sorts of variations you can do. Like you might even be thinking this is a lot of windows. Well, you can remove these two. And then again, under walls, all the way at the bottom at half walls, there's these noble half walls that don't have windows and you can do a little less window if you want to. The same goes for these windows here. You could get rid of this one. And now technically there is no full wall of this. So you do just have to use two half walls here but it does end up looking a lot better instead of using a ton of windows. Now that we got the townhouse covered, we'll move on to the cabin. Now this build is pretty much the same exact thing as this townhouse build, but with the log cabin pieces. However, I understand that everybody's at a different level of building, so I'm still gonna go through this step by step. So first we're gonna go to building parts and walls, and we're gonna go down to the log cabin parts, and we want this log corner. From there, we're gonna go to windows, and we want the log cabin window two. We're gonna take that and snap it two spaces back, then cap that off with a log corner. Then we're gonna go to roof pieces, and we're gonna go to the either the galactic lodge gables or you can do the rustic gables so these galactic lodge pieces along with a lot of other pieces from the star wars update can be unlocked for free just by upgrading your rebel village so with the galactic lodge gable right side we're going to snap that to the corner right here and then we're going to snap another one going the same direction. Then we're gonna switch to the left gable and snap that to the opposite corner. Now again, you can really use any door and make this building any length you want, but for the sake of this video, I'm gonna start with a 16 wide log cabin door followed by two 16 wide cabin windows. And at the end, we're gonna do a log corner. Then we're gonna go back to the log cabin O2s, which are 12 long, and we're gonna go two of those going back, another log corner. And now again, on the back side, on the opposite corner, I'm gonna start with a door, and then two windows to finish it off there. Now over on this side, we're gonna do the same thing we did on the other side, but mirrored, so we're gonna snap this right-sided gable to the corner here. And then with the left-sided gable, we're gonna snap that to this corner, and then one right above that. Here I'm gonna use the Galactic Lodge Roof 5. However, you can use any of these other ones if you wanna add the satellites. So with the 16 wide roofs, we're just gonna snap three of those going all the way across. And on the back side, we're gonna do the same exact thing on both layers because the back layer is two roof pieces high. Now for the top, we're gonna to go to walls and go all the way down to the half walls. And we want the half log corner. And we're gonna place that right here at the end and another one at the other end. Then we want the log half wall three and we should be able to snap three of those evenly going across. And then we need the log cabin wall two to fill in these gaps on both sides. Then to finish off the roof, we're gonna go with these galactic lodge ridges and I'm gonna line the first one up at the end here. These these are the 16 wide ones, by the way, and we're going to do those three across. And then at the end, we're going to do the Galactic Lodge Roof Ridge three and just snap that to the end and you're good to go. Again, it doesn't matter what floor pieces we use, but I'm going to use the 16 by 16 rustic floors here. The first one, we're going to snap to the doorway just like this. Then go ahead and snap that over two times. Then we're going to switch to the rustic floor 04, which is an eight by eight. Snap that there, nudge it over to the edge of the wall and place it. And then just go all the way across with the eight by eights. Now that we got the floor as we go in the front, we're gonna make a staircase right here in the back right corner of the building. So if we were to place this directly in the corner here, we want it one, two, three, four spaces back and then one, two, three, four, five, six spaces to the left, and we're gonna place it right there. Then we're gonna take the 16 by 16 rustic wide floor and snap it to the end of the staircase and place it. Then we're gonna switch to the eight by eight rustic floor, and we're gonna snap it here, nudge it all the way over to the side till it turns red, back to the side till it turns green, and place it right there. And then we're gonna snap one next to that, next to that, 
and then all the way across. Continue that up to the wall. Then next, we need the rustic floor three, and we're gonna snap those next to these three eight by eights. And then on the other side of the staircase, we're gonna look to one of these snapping points and then nudge it over, and then we can snap two more up against the wall. Then go back to the eight by eight and place one more right here up against the wall. Now you have a nice little log cabin with a front door, a back door, and an entrance up to the second story. All right, we did the townhouse, we did the cabin. Now it's time for my favorite, which is the barn house. The reason it's my favorite is because the Anarchy Acres bundle is one of my favorite kits overall. I think it comes with some of the best decorations, but this is also a different look from your standard barn that you're not gonna get from the prefabs. And I actually use this in my farm village in my survival world. So speaking of villages that I've built, I actually build 90% of whatever I build on live stream on TikTok and Twitch. So definitely check me out there if you wanna get some live building tips while I'm building some of my villages. To get started, we're gonna go to walls and honestly, you can pick either one of these two corner pieces. I'm just gonna go with the acres corner. I think it's meant to be placed with the all red facing out, but I always like to have the brown accent facing out. From here, we're gonna go to walls and then down to doors. We're gonna go with this acres wall door left and we're gonna snap it just like this. And then the acres wall right and we're gonna snap that to the other one. Cap that off with another corner piece. Then we're going to go to roofs and we're going to go to these gable pieces. First, we're going to take the taller slanted gable and we're going to place that up against the pillar right here. And then again, same thing on the left side. Now here, pick your poison. You can snap this one going this way or this one going this way. For this one, we're going to use the left gable. Then we're going to go to windows and we want these acre window shutters. We're going to go one, two, and three back. Then the same thing with the other side. One, two, and three. Then a corner piece at each end. Now there's a lot of different choices you can do for the back here, but I'm gonna go to the acres wall 02, and we're gonna snap one to the left side and snap one to the right side. Then we're gonna go to doors and we want these open acre doors. Take the left side, snap it there. Take the right side, snap it there. Now on this side, we're gonna repeat the same process we did on this side, just mirrored. So first we take the left gable and snap it to the left corner, the right tall gable and snap it to the right corner. Then we want the short but long right gable and snap it to the top of that right one. Then we're gonna go to windows and we want these red regular acre windows and those will snap in right there same thing with the other side then we're going to go to roof pieces and we want the acres slanted roof five and we should just be able to snap three of these going all the way across then do the same thing for the other side so one two and three then do the same exact thing. We can fit three of these 16 wide slanted roof pieces. Now for this part, we're gonna go to walls and go all the way down to the half walls. We want this acres half wall 02, that's the two by four by six. With this, we're gonna place it right here so that way this white piece is facing outward. Then we want the other one that's facing the other way and we wanna do the same thing on the other side. So we want this right here. This kind of helps continue that white line pattern on the roof profile. Then we're gonna to go to the acres half wall six and we should be able to place three of those perfectly in between those. Then back to the top, we want this acres roof ridge end. So this piece actually has a little piece hanging off the front and you wanna place it right here at the front. It's gonna be hanging off a little bit. Same thing for this side, just snap it to the top and then nudge it forward until it turns green. Then we're gonna to switch to the acres roof ridge five and we're gonna snap one, two, three across, and then we want the acres roof ridge one just to fill in that last gap right there. So then for the floors, we're gonna start with a 16 by 16. And again, here you can use any floor style you want. Just start with a 16 by 16 and place it right here in the corner. Now, depending on the size of the building you make, it might make the flooring a little bit different, but for this video, we'll be able to snap 16 by 16s evenly across this whole floor really easily. Then it doesn't really matter where you put the stairs, but I'm gonna take the rustic stairs 01 and from the front on the right side, we're gonna look up against this wall and we won't actually be able to put it up against the wall because these windows are sticking out. And you might think, oh, just bring it one space away. No, you actually wanna have it at least two spaces away from the wall. Otherwise you're gonna have a one space gap that you're not gonna be able to fill. So we want it two spaces away from that wall. And then from this wall, we actually want it one, two, three, four, five, six spaces away from the wall. And again, really there's about a million different ways you can set up the stairs for a building like this. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna make it as simple as possible. So so from here, we're gonna go back to the 16 by 16 rustic floors, snap it to the end of the stairway, and then nudge it to the left until it turns green. From there, we're gonna snap another one to the left. And then from that one, we're gonna snap one backwards. Now we're gonna to switch to the rustic floor 04, which is an eight by eight. 
Then with that, we're gonna snap it there and then nudge it to the right until it's flush with the wall. Then from there, we wanna snap three more eight by eights going that way, and then one more right here. Then we're gonna turn around and we're gonna snap the eight by eight there, nudge it over to the left and place it there. And then we want three more going across. I lied, we actually don't want this one. What we're gonna do instead is take a 16 by two and snap it there. And we're gonna go three across until we fill in this gap here. And then we're gonna snap another 16 by two, but we're gonna nudge it all the way forward until it fills in this other two by 16 gap we left over here. So now you've got a really nice barn house that has access to the second level. So if that was helpful, be sure to subscribe for even more Lego Fortnite content and tutorials. And if you're not already supporting a Fortnite creator in the item shop, be sure to use code EPICBRICKS. I plan to do more tutorials like this, but like I said, be sure to check me out on TikTok and Twitch live because I'm always building and giving out tips while I'm live. So other than that, be sure to check out my last video, which goes through how to farm cave materials faster, and then I'll see you guys on the next one.